Hello, writers. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. We have made it halfway through the week. Yesterday, we talked about signals that writers use. The signal we talked about was a capital letter. And we used a green crayon so that the reader knows it's time to read. It's time to go. Today, we are going to learn about a new signal. This signal comes at the end of a sentence. Now, I want you to think about the stoplight that I showed you yesterday. The green tells your parents to go in the car. Which color do you think tells your parents to stop? If you said red, you're right. The red light tells your parents to stop in the car. Now we're going to think about writing. If the green tells the reader to go and read, what color do you think will tell the reader to stop reading your writing? You're right! A red will tell the reader to stop. Now, there's different end marks that come at the end of a sentence, and now we're going to go over them right now. The first end mark we're going to talk about is a period. Listen to my sentence. I went to the store. My sentence ends with a period. The next end mark that you might use is an exclamation mark. I use an exclamation mark so the reader knows that I'm excited. Listen to my sentence. I went to the store. Can you tell that I was excited to go to the store? I used an exclamation mark at the end of that sentence. My last end mark is called a question mark. I use a question mark when I have a question to ask. Let's see, here's my sentence. Can I go to the store? I put a question at the end. Today, what you're going to do is you will use a red crayon to tell the reader to stop at the end of your sentence. Sometimes your sentence will end with a period, sometimes an exclamation mark, or maybe a question mark. Watch the lesson to learn more about stopping at the end of a sentence. Today for writing, you will need a red crayon, a green crayon, and a pencil. Today we learned that writers use a signal at the end of a sentence. That signal is called an end mark. Your end mark could be a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark. Let's look at my writing for today. Make sure you put your name at the top of your paper and your topic on the line. My topic is the zoo. If you don't know when your sentence ends, one thing you could do is count the words in your sentence. So my first sentence is, I like to go to the zoo. I like to go to the zoo. That sentence has seven words. Start with my green to tell the reader to go. I like to go to the zoo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have all seven words, so now I know I need to tell the reader to stop. So I'm using a period. Here's my next sentence. It is fun to see the animals. It is fun to see the animals. That sentence has seven words too. It is a to see the animals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wrote seven words, so now I have to tell the reader to stop using a period, which is my end mark. Here's my next sentence. The snow leopard is my favorite. The snow leopard is my favorite. That has six words in it. The snow leopard is my favorite. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I'm not going to end this sentence with a period. I'm going to end it with an exclamation mark so that the reader knows how I feel about the snow leopard. The snow leopard is my favorite. Here's my next sentence. What is your favorite animal? What is your favorite animal? That sentence has five words. What is your favorite animal? One, two, three, four, five. I wrote my five words. Now I have to use an end mark. I ended with a, oh, wait a second. Hmm, what is your favorite animal? I'm asking the reader a question, so I have to make sure my end mark is a question mark. Okay, writers, today you are going to use a red crayon to tell the reader to stop. You might use a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark. If you don't know where your sentence ends, I want you to count the words in your sentence and then make sure you write all of those words down and then put your end mark. I hope you have a great time writing. Remember, writing is hard work and you just have to try your best. If you can't think of a topic today, Tell me about your favorite place to go. Happy writing, friends.